Hey guys, this is Gogi from Gogi.in and this is the unboxing and review of Micromax A90 Superphone Pixel. This is the A90 box pack Superphone Pixel. These are the pre-installed apps, MI Store, some games, Aisha and My Buddy. On the box pack it is clearly mentioned Super Emold screen. But here it's mentioned Emold screen. This phone is powered by a 1 GHz single core processor with 8 MP camera, 0.3 MP front camera, 1600 mAh battery. These are the SAR levels. Let's unbox the box pack. The seal. Opening up the box pack. This is the 4.3 inch A90. We'll check that later inside the box pack. There is the power adapter with USB, the USB power adapter, USB to micro USB cable, the battery. Micromax battery, 1600 mAh lithium ion battery, the earphone mic and the call button, the clip, the earplug, looks good. Next is the user guide. A90 user guide or user manual, the Aisha manual, Aisha comes pre-installed, next is the warranty statement or the warranty card. This is the Micromax A90 handset. Let's remove the protective layer, the glossy finish. The front side, the back side, there seems to be another film on the back side, uh, let's remove that too. Let's remove the film, okay. As you can see on the back side, it's a matte finish with slight embossing. This gives a very good grip, there now you can see it clearly the Micromax logo and the speaker out, the 8 MP camera with LED flash, this is the front side, the 3.5 mm jack and the USB port. As you can see the USB port is covered, uh, you can just slide it out, slide in slide out. This is the volume rockers. This is for opening the back cover, the mic, the power button and the lock button. Let's open up the back cover. This is how you do it. Okay. What you see inside is two SIM slot. Now here it's mentioned as A and B instead of SIM 1 and SIM 2. This is the micro SD slot with the Micromax uh, logo. I have the 8GB micro SD HC card which I've inserted along with the SIM card. The battery and the back cover. The A90 and the MI425 from Spice. The Spice handset is bulky, this is very light, A90 is very light, this is bulky. Now if you compare it side by side, you can see that A90 is the slimmest. Let's see it from the other angle, you can clearly see the difference. Again the screen size, the screen size is 4.3 and 4 inches. This is the front camera, 0.3 megapixel, 
the in-call speaker and the proximity and the light sensors. The handset is lightweight and feels very comfortable because of this back uh, matte finish. The power button, let's press it for some time to start the phone. The Superphone Pixel logo. Okay, I'll have to charge it up. It's just 7%. The welcome screen. I'll have to sign in to Google account. Okay, I've done all those things and the phone has now started. I'll just charge it up and come back a bit later. The 3G logo. The menu button. The touch is smooth, responsive. In fact, it is much better than the Spice MI425. These are the pre-installed apps. Oh, there is the compass, uh, which means it has a magnetic sensor. Okay, it's working. Needs calibration, we'll check it later. These are the pre-installed apps. GTalk is missing. Instead, you have the MI Buddy, that's Micromax, and uh, WhatsApp. Of the 4 GB storage, 502 MB goes for the internal storage and the phone storage is 2.09 GB. This is my SD card, 8 GB and the RAM is 472 MB, that's around 512 MB. Uh, the device uh, model number A90, ARMv7 processor, you can see the hardware is MT6575, that's a single core processor. The display resolution 480 by 728. The GPU is Power VR SGX 531. The sensors, the magnetic field sensor that I mentioned before, accelerometer, proximity, and light sensor. In the settings option, wireless and network, tethering and portable. Uh, you can see USB tethering is supported, portable Wi Fi hotspot is supported, and even Bluetooth tethering is supported so you can share your net connection sim management uh, just using one sim uh, you have voice call and video call video call yeah cancel the video call option is missing in the stock uh, dialer the other option is use contact search the contact tap the contact and you will get this screen where you just tap this icon for video call as you can see but for some reason the video call is not working I'll have to check that out in settings let's uh, check out some more options security this is ICS OS screen lock you have that face unlock option when composing an SMS message, you can use the landscape as well as the portrait option. This feature was missing on some of the handsets uh, which I recently reviewed. I've loaded my site in the stock browser. Double tap to zoom in. As you can see, there is a mild rendering issue uh, which we have seen on uh, other handsets. So uh, that's normal. You can use this option to close the running apps this way. This will free up the memory space. The camera of 8 megapixel resolution. So this is the camera screen. We'll just check out the options. This is the color effects. The white balance, hmm. flash mode, the scene mode, the HDR option, high dynamic range. Uh, these are the camera settings, the sharpness, saturation, brightness, contrast, picture size is 8 megapixel, ISO if is from 100 to 400 and auto mode you can tap on the screen to focus it also has an autofocus option 
which is pretty slow and you can click this button to grab the image and I'll just show you the autofocus option it's uh, very slow the here yeah, you see the autofocus has now responded there or you, just, you can just simply tap on the screen to focus it let's check out the video option uh, the video can be recorded in 720p resolution that's uh, HD mode the video options are fine video quality time-lapse interval the color effects white balance flash mode the camera setting for videos you can set the video duration the sharpness brightness etc in video there are two options uh, infinity focus and continuous autofocus now this is the sample image that I've taken this looks pretty good on the phone but not as good on the PC the home screen weather widget doesn't work uh, in fact the net is working as you can check here I've just changed the wallpaper with this looks pretty impressive the image quality and the viewing angle is simply superb this is the benchmark result and the device has scored 2370 quadrant benchmark score is 2370 which is pretty good thank you for watching this video you can read the full review on my website gogi.in